All right, we're back with Steve and Tally, and I want to start off by slightly distancing myself from the lyrics of that song, because if I ever met a Christian that was just like their God, I would be hiding in my fucking panic room until I knew that person was in federal custody. But uh, now, obviously, like the way we, uh, we operate our show, this is a problem we get, and I'm sure you're probably going to get it if you haven't already. How do you respond to the atheists that say that your lyrics go too far, they're D- disrespectful, they stand in the way of a uh, productive conversation, etc. I'd have to disagree and say that um, there's things going on in this world our, today that are very barbaric. People getting beheaded, people um, having honor killings. Um, it, the list goes on and on and on of the barbaric things that are being done in the name of God and in the name of religion right now out there. And we, we definitely think that those kind of things should enrage people. They should, there should be an outrage. People should be upset and people should be angry about it. And if they just want, you know, again, the peace, love and granola side, that's fine to each his own. But we want to make sure that, you know, we're pointing out that um, these things are atrocities and they shouldn't be going on. And it's, it's terrible. These are some of the horrible harms that religion causes out there, and we want to bring light to those. Basically, when you put, you know, the honor killings, the beheadings, the, you know, crusades next to calling God a motherfucker, which should you be more pissed off about? <laughs> I, I think it would be, you know, all of that crazy shit that is going on. Yeah, great answer. Great answer. All right, so now one of the perks of the job is that I've actually had a chance to hear your album. I really enjoyed it. And I don't want to leave everybody with the impression that this album is one-dimensional because, you know, I'm a huge fan of the fuck God message, but there's a lot more to the lyrics and the songs than that. You know, like uh, listening to a song like Stardust, for example, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I'm feeling inspired, you know, like you guys have some bearded magic hippie carpenter dying for you. I got stars dying for me, motherfuckers. So is there an overall theme to the album other than, you know, just there's no God? Well, my goal with the album is to just... Uh, get the message out to other atheists like I was feeling alone in a family surrounded by a family of people that have different beliefs and you just you don't you don't believe that way it's very alone feeling and I just want to tell anyone in a situation like that they're not alone and then Steve has a little bit different of a message that he kind of well yeah the album to portray. obviously uh, I, I agree with that message I just also you know with this we're trying to promote a reasonable point of view. So it's not just about fuck God. It's also about think for yourself, um, believe in yourself. And every song on this album has a different message. It reaches reaches out to a, a, a different person. But in every song, we try to make sure that we're relating to an atheist topic. And that's something that we want to continue to do. Right on, right on. Well, I would say that uh, that you did it in spades. Okay, so now if any of the listeners are out there and they just can't wait until August 7th, they happen to be in the Southern California area, is there any way that they uh, might be able to go see you this weekend? Yeah, absolutely. We're playing uh, the Godless Gorilla. It's the first ever um, secular fair in San Diego, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, tickets have already gone really fast, so if you want to get in on that, you need to go and buy them immediately. You can go to our website to get those. Yeah, it should be a hell of an event. I know uh, Seth Andrews is the keynote. Friend of the show, Dan Errol, is going to be there. Friend of mine, Ryan Bell, will be there and guaranteed to be sporting fashionable footwear. If you see him, I, I guarantee you he's wearing nice socks. Well, we'll check that out. Yeah, and also, Cleveland Steve the Magician will be there. Oh, right on, right on. I, I, there's more, more even than I knew. Awesome. <laughs> and maybe somebody else I'm not thinking of right now. I'm sorry if I forgot anybody. (laughs) Also worth mentioning uh, that the San Diego Corps, the uh, San Diego Humanists of San Diego, and also the American Atheists are putting on this event, and it's going to be a big event. They've been working really hard, so. Yeah, yeah. Somehow it didn't make it onto the calendar segment for our show. And, of course, if you're not anywhere near that and you still want to hear a little bit more, you can buy the single that you just heard on uh, the website monsteronsunday.com. And, of course, if you want to learn more about the band, you can check them out there as well. You'll find links to that in our show notes. We'll also have info on the August 7th release show as well as the Godless Gala. Also worth noting that if you pre-order the album, you get a chance to download the tracks a week before the official release. It's a phenomenal album. Comes highly recommended from an atheist with a good ear for lyrics or at least one that likes to think he is. Tally, Steve, thanks again so much for being part of the show tonight. Thank you, you. Noah. It's been our pleasure. And when we come back, Heath will transcend space and time to be here once again. 